Hi, I'm Fatima. And I'm Angie, and welcome to Career Talk. This program will introduce you to a variety of careers firsthand from professionals working in those fields. So Fatima, why is this so important? Well, one of the best ways to learn about which career is right for you is to ask individuals working in those occupations through informational interviewing like we're doing today. Uh, with our guest today is Jim Fleener, and he is a Yuba College custodian. Welcome, Jim. Thank you. Nice to have you, Jim. Could you please tell us, um, our first question is, what led you to decide to follow this career path? Well, uh, I used to work in a, a construction field with a lot of contractors, and uh, you know, just like in today's times, sometimes there were jobs and sometimes there weren't, so uh, I, I needed to get to a job where I had medical, I had kids and everything, so, and something with, uh, that had uh, some retirement plan, medical, uh, vacation and sick leave, and I enjoy, uh, enjoy working around uh, public school systems. And how did you get started working in this field? Well, like I said, I, you know, I was working for contractors, so there for a while, uh, while my wife was working and I was in between uh, jobs, my, my twins were in preschool and uh, I was like, the father that took the kids to the school and then I just started hanging around the schools on days and helping the teachers out and stuff like that and uh, just doing little handyman stuff because the school was kind of short and then finally an opening uh, came up and I was the, the first name because uh, I was uh, my wife and I both were parents of the year uh, that year so well, that's actually how I got started in the school district system. Oh, so you were doing a good thing. You were helping out at the, at the at the school, and that eventually led to a position. Yes, and and they helped me out. And uh, it was in the '80s, and times were becoming turbulent. So uh, I, you know, I got there and I got to work with the kids, and there was some troubled youths and stuff like that. And I, you know, shared some of my knowledge with them, and uh, uh, they really enjoyed me. And now I'm here at a bigger school. Uh, probably some of the same age group, so I kind of followed them, you know, to keep an eye on them. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's really been an enjoyment working for a school district. Very cool. That's great to hear that volunteering can lead to a position. Yes, uh, uh, it can, especially uh, if they're looking for somebody that is going to be a, a diligent worker and, a, and an asset to not only the college, but to the community. That's great. Can you describe a typical work day? Well, yes, uh, my typical work day starts at 6 o'clock in the morning, and because of the fact that I'm a daytime custodian, they have daytime and also nighttime custodians, so I'm the daytime custodian, so I have a smaller assignment than what the normal uh, custodians would have, but anything can arise uh, in the day as far as making deliveries, setups, things breaking that uh, that I can fix uh, and relieve the maintenance men somewhat so they can take care of uh, more important things. Perfect. And what do you like best about your job? Uh, just the interaction with the people and uh, I enjoy doing things for people and uh, I, I get some kudos for it every now and then so that <laughs> makes me happy because I, I like to make them happy and I try to be really diligent at my job uh, because of the fact that, that I do enjoy it. That's great. Um, so what are, it sounds like you really enjoy your job. Yes. So could you tell us a little bit about maybe what some of the challenges are in your line of work? Well, some of the challenges are uh, sometimes uh, school systems uh, have an abundance of money and sometimes they don't. So uh, sometimes uh, we're short of people, so that makes it a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. And you know, the. When, when I worked at the elementary school, if kids were throwing trash down, I could actually make them work with me and pick trash up for a couple hours with the okay from the teacher because it was a good life's lessons for them. So one of our challenges is um, trying to keep the school clean. Mm -hmm. You know, and students have to participate because first of all, this is their school. So they need to take pride in it and uh, and help us take care of it because it frees us up to do other things, you know, uh, things that are really needed. So uh, part of the typical challenges are if people would just kind of help because of the fact that treat it like your home. Mm -hmm. well, that makes perfect sense because it is for certain hours of the day. It is it is their home. Yes, so, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. 
What would you recommend to people who are interested in getting into your line of work? Well, some, some uh, uh, schools, they do require that you have some knowledge because of the fact that you're working with chemicals and it's, it's really not hard to train. Some, some people, uh, they, they do train people because I think it's you know, not bad to train young people because if they want this as a career, um, a lot of people that I have known, which one person I didn't know, he was my fifth grade teacher. And when I started working for the first school district, he was the principal there. And then once I got to talking to him because we were, I was grown up and we were more on a, on a, a grown up level than when I was in his class. And he started off as a custodian and uh, he worked his way up to it to, to being a teacher. And then when I showed up, he was the principal and I was just like amazed. And I had also known a, a guy that had st started off as a custodian, went to a teacher and then became a superintendent. Wow. So, you know, lots of times when you're around education, uh, you need to take a little bit of advantage of it and uh, you can continue to learn. That's a great story. Wow, yeah. those are interesting experiences. That's yeah. great. I've, I've got to meet a lot of people. You know, I've set up things for the mayors of Sacramento, the Kings and stuff like that. So that was, you know, that was really uh, enjoyable. Uh, I remember when I ran into Harold Presley uh, when I was at the school and I told him, I said, uh, yeah, you know, I like to play basketball and you could probably beat me, but I bet you I score on you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a neat experience. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's fun. You know, I've set up for a lot of different events. I've, when I worked at the elementary school, I was always the costume man because if they needed a Santa Claus and different things like that, or, or I played Officer McGruff, you know, uh, for fighting crime, <laughs> and all the kids used to say, that's you, Mr. Jim, because I can tell by your shoes. So I got hip to it, and I started switching <laughs> shoes. And then if I ever, if there was anybody there in a suit, and they go, I know that's you, Mr. Jim. And then I would walk in, they would just be totally blown away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. But it, it, was, it was fun, you know. I had a lot of fun uh, doing it. It sounds like you had a great yeah. time. That's good. And it sounds like you're doing lots of different things. I mean, not that you would think typically a custodian would do, but lots of other activities. Yeah, I, you know, uh, I do write some poetry and I like to share it with everybody because uh, I kind of do a, a spoken word. And uh, all of my stuff, I try to put a spin of a positive message on it, you know. And I, and I love, uh, I really love sharing my poetry. That's uh, something that I really enjoy to do. Well, Besides you... playing basketball. <laughs> I may be old, but I still like to play ball. <laughs> well, we would love to have you uh, share a poem. At the end, we have one more question for you, and then we'll go ahead and let you do that. What skills must someone absolutely have to succeed in this field? Well, the main one is common sense because, like I say, it's really not hard to train a person for this job, but you are working with uh, hazardous chemicals and you, you have to make sure that you know your MSDS, which is the material safety data sheet, because you don't want to mix any caustic chemicals that are either going to harm yourself or, or a carpet or, or anybody, anybody else in a classroom where you're leaving, uh, you know, noxious uh, odors and stuff like that. But uh, it's... For some people, the hardest thing to do is uh, to run a buffer. I remember the first time I ever ran a buffer, I was in the service and I grabbed a hold of it and I turned, I turned the switch on and I about wiped out about four bunks, you know, till I found out that let the machine do the work and, and guide it. But uh, that's probably one of the hardest things to do is just to learn a buffer, but it's really not that hard once you learn. I could run it with my pinky now. So. <laughs> but you could. <laughs> Well, so, they, yeah. Exactly. Well, Thank I was, you. safety seems to be like the, the most important thing, and yes, to remember S to safe, be, safety, safety first. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Well, uh, many people don't know this, but uh, what a person does in their leisure time is also what makes up a career. And so, like you were saying earlier, poetry mm -hmm. is something that you do in yes. your leisure time. So, would you mind sharing a poem with our audience today? Okay. Uh, yes, I'd love to. Uh, poetry, basketball, and my grandkids. That's my leisure time. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I try to fit fishing in because I really love to fish too. Uh, but I'd like to share this poem and it's one of the first ones I wrote. It's not, it's not the first one but I, I wrote it for a friend of mine and I wrote it after he passed away and dedicated it to him and gave it to his wife but I wish that I would have wrote it uh, when he was still alive and it's called Prejudice and it goes, Prejudice, it just doesn't seem right. 
It's time for people of all races to stand up and fight. You see, we all live on this planet with each other. It's time we all walk together as a sister and brother. It doesn't matter the color of the skin on your face. We're all part of the human race. It's time all people walk hand in hand. We need to spread this unity across the land. You see, my neighbor's black and I'm white, but man, we're really tight. See, he's my friend and he'll be that way until the end. We both have blood that flows the same way. He's my friend each and every day. I'd stand up for him and he'd stand up for me. It's a thing we call unity. One thing you have to understand, when I look at him, I don't see color, I see a man. So it's time for people of all races to stand up and shout and people of all races to throw their prejudices out. Thank you. Wow, that Amazing. was wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was really Thank good. Thank you, I that really a, appreciate it. That was a wonderful poem. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing that with us. And thank you for being on our show today. Uh, we hey. appreciate you joining us. Yes. I've been up for a while, but you know, I, I'm glad you all gave me the opportunity to come here. Uh, you know, like I say, y'all see me all the time. I'm, I'm usually an upbeat person, you know, and I, I enjoy uh, uh, the camaraderie that I have with the students. And as, as new students come every year, some of them are from out of state and everything, and I, you know, I try to, you know, share my poetry with them, give them words of advice, especially some of them are from across the country. Uh, over the years, I have fed some students uh, because I know they don't get home cooking, and my wife used to run a restaurant, so she's still making big, big pots, you know, <laughs> like when it's just her and I, and I, I like to bring, you know, besides sharing my poetry, I like to share my wife's cooking. <laughs> oh, that's really <laughs> nice of you. <laughs> Well, thank you again so much. Okay, you're very uh, welcome. <laughs> I want to let, this, this program was brought to you by the Yuba College Career Center who believes to be happy for life, love your work. Thank you. Thank you.